All right, let's get a little closer and take advantage of the situation. And yes, oh, 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 oh. that is nice. So let's run and collect some loot. Oh my God, this poisonous cloud is closing in on us. So I would say let's forget about the loot and run. Get into safety and run. Oh, there's the next one. What's going on here? Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> what a nice street. We're on to something here. Let's go. Hi, Dirk here with Filmora Creator. Today, I'm going to show you how to spice up your gaming videos using AI Portrait. When we open Filmora, we first click on New Project. From the local folder where we store our footage, we can drag it over into the media folder of Filmora. And from there, we drag it down to our timeline. Dragging the slider left or right, we can zoom in or zoom out on our project. We right-click on our footage and choose Detach Audio to have a separate video track and a separate audio track. Now we click on the audio track and here we can reduce the volume so my gaming footage doesn't overpower my voice. And now we drag the narrator footage from our local storage over to the Filmora Media folder. For the sake of a smooth workflow, we decide to create proxy files. For the narrator to appear in the foreground, we have to drag the footage onto our timeline right above the current track. We set the playhead where we want our footage to start. We could click on the scissors to cut it right there, but we can also drag it from the left side over to the playhead to remove the rest. We double click on our video file, then we go to effects video effects, and finally, AI portrait. We select human segmentation and drag it exactly onto the narrator footage. And boom, all the background is suddenly gone. Clicking and holding one of the dots in the corners allows us to resize our footage. And when we click inside, we can drag it to where we need it. We move the playhead to the end of our clip. We highlight the gaming footage and then we cut it by clicking on the scissors. Delete will remove the highlighted footage. And now let's visualize a bit more drama and tension. With the playhead we find the beginning of our sequence, we make a cut and we find the end of the sequence and make a cut again. We highlight the gaming footage to where we want to apply an effect. Top right next to video we have our color tab. We go there and then we choose the LUT black and white film. Now we reduce the strength of the LUT, so it's not 100% black and white. We still see a little bit color, but it is definitely more dramatic and a bit scary. To ease in and out of this effect, we go to Transition. And under Basic, we find a transition that's called Dissolve. We grab it and drag it to where we made the cuts. And now it looks so much smoother. So it's time to give our narrator a few cool effects. We're moving the playhead where we want the first effect to end. Now we're making a cut. And we go back to Effects, Video Effects and AI Portrait. We're dragging the effect Neon Ring 2 onto the narrator footage. This is how it looks like. All right, let's get a little closer and take advantage of the situation. And now we're making cuts at the beginning and at the end of the victory scene. And to bring across the excitement, I'm choosing the AI Portrait Clone 1 effect. I made a cut at the beginning and at the end of the scene where the player was in danger. I selected it. I found that the Burning Outline 2 was the perfect effect to create more drama. Top right, you have a tab that's called AI Tools. You can turn on AI Portrait and that allows you to refine the effect. We can change the edge thickness and also the edge feather. And to finish this clip with a really nice effect, I moved the playhead to where I wanted the last effect to start. I made a cut and then I found the flashing outline 7, the perfect fit, and I dragged it onto the narrator footage. Now that we're done, we can go on the top right to export. The first thing I wanted was to create a thumbnail. So I click here on Change Thumbnail and now we can move the playhead through the entire video and we can choose any scene. And as soon as we have a good one, we click here on Set Thumbnail 
And this is what Filmora stores on our local PC as a JPEG. As for the video export, here we choose in which folder it's going to be stored. To change the video quality, we can go here to settings. I chose the higher quality. I changed the resolution and also the bitrate. And then I clicked on apply. Now it was time to export the footage. And this is what you saw at the beginning of the video. These and so many more features you'll find in the new Filmora. With Filmora, video editing is truly a breeze and you can focus on what's really important, your gameplay. I want to encourage you to follow the steps of this tutorial and to try it on your own. Of course, if you run into any problems or difficulties, leave us a message, we'll definitely respond. Thanks so much for watching this. Till the next time, stay safe and take care. Bye for now.